London's Canary Wharf, a district dedicated to high finance and shopping. It's in this seemingly godless place that you'll find St Peter's Barge, Britain's only floating church. Since first weighing anchor five years ago, attendance at lunchtime services has been on the up. The numbers have grown steadily over the five years that the barge has been here. This past year has been particularly difficult just in terms of uh, with the economic downturn, a lot of people have been made redundant and have moved away, but new faces are, have come along as well. And at a time of financial crisis, bankers are finding some comfort in their faith. For me, I think it's the best place ever. Uh, it's just a wonderful idea to have just a church uh, available just in the middle of the day, uh, just a step away from, from where I work. But buoyant congregations are a rarity in the UK where church attendance has been steadily declining for years. While some Catholic churches have benefited from an influx of immigrants from Eastern Europe, Anglican churches have not. Lincoln, in the east of England, is an Anglican diocese doing well. Most recent figures show the number of under-16s coming through their doors is up by over 10% year on year. The figures about young people are significant because I think they do book the national trend. Um, and yes, we are trying many different initiatives in this diocese to, to keep the faith and its expression lively, to keep it modern and to try and do things uh, you know, which actually attract young people to them. And that includes blogs, podcasts and even an initiative called U2 Chorist, marrying Christian teaching with the music of U2. But many believe Britain's future is a faithless one, especially given wider trends among young people. Roughly two-thirds of them are actually not identifying with any religion at all and the rest of the congregation are just getting older and older. Keith says that by 2050, church attendance in Britain will drop below the one million mark and that the average churchgoer by then will be 75 years old. That's a prediction that Britain's faithful are praying will not come true.